In this Cisco Tech Talks, we'll discuss how we can configure access rule along with inter-VLAN routing to restrict the communication between certain hosts or users in Cisco Small Business 340 Series routers. In this scenario, we'll replicate this network diagram where we have an RV345P router and two different VLAN interfaces. We have a PC in VLAN 1 and in VLAN 2, and we also have a server in VLAN 1. As inter-VLAN routing is enabled, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2 users are able to communicate with each other. Now we are going to apply the access rule to restrict the communication between the VLAN 2 user toward this server in VLAN 1. There are two different VLAN interfaces currently configured on the RV345 router, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. The DHCP server is enabled for both the VLANs. We'll see that this inter-VLAN routing capability is enabled on VLAN 2 and VLAN 1. Because of this, their users are able to communicate with each other. VLAN tagging is configured on the LAN port so that the user or host can get the DHCP IP address, making communication possible. By navigating to the ARP table underneath Status and Statistics, we can see the details of the users connected to this router. We can also see this is the server. There is connection in VLAN 1, on our PC, and in VLAN 2. In our PC, we are able to ping the server and the other PC in VLAN 1. Now, from this PC, we're going to block the communication to that server. To do that, we'll need to configure the access rule. Under the firewall option, we'll select access rule and create our specific access rule. To do so, we'll need to click on the add button. Our rule status will be enabled, and for the action, we will choose deny. All kinds of IPv4 traffic will be blocked. We'll leave the log alone and keep it set to true, switching the source interface to VLAN 2. This will apply the rule on the VLAN 2 interface to restrict communication from VLAN 2 users to the server in VLAN 1. For source interface, we have the option of selecting any or a particular IP from where we want access blocked. For destination interface, we'll select VLAN 1 and finally, for destination address, we'll choose single IP and type our desired IP address. As soon as we apply the rule, we will see the request timeout. And that's how to configure access rules along with the inter-VLAN routing in RV340 series routers to restrict communication. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.